I have always been the type that, Hey, if there's going to be an issue, like, Hey, we could talk about it like men and we could bring another person, you know, like when I spoke to punk, I said, Hey, I'm going to bring someone with me. We're going to go to his locker room. We're going to speak because I wanted to know from him, Hey, this is what I heard. And I don't want to believe this. I'd rather believe what comes out of your mouth. Let's talk about um, a bunch of other subjects, but you, we mentioned, you know, Cody making his return. Were you surprised at the CM Punk return to WWE? Because I, I didn't think he'd come back. Yes and no. I don't think he got to finish his story, even at AEW. Um, yeah. And I, I mean, that's become the term now, you know, the phrase, finish the story. Yes. And I think being in AEW, it kind of gave him his confidence to know that the people were still there for him and, you know, he could still do it. And why not? If you're going to do it and you can't do it at AEW anymore for whatever the reasons were, then, you know, go back to WWE. And if they're willing to give him a chance, um, I always liked him, you know, backstage. I mean, I know there were reports that he kept me off the TV and we actually talked about it. And like, we agreed. I, not, neither of us wanted me to be Will Hobbs' manager. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, then I also had to work Saturdays and Wednesdays. So when, when, you know, him and I spoke about the idea that he didn't want me with Will Hobbs, I was like, yeah, let's sign me up for that one. Cause I'd rather only work on Wednesday. So, but I didn't think it was going to be, um, out of the realm that he would go back, you know, because the WWE had so many people that have done like negative stuff and then come back. And I don't think he really did anything negative. He just walked away. That was yeah. it. Right. Yeah. He didn't do the anything. Yeah, he did his, you know, his interview that they had a lawsuit about. But other than that, he, it's like Cody. When Cody left WWE, he was a true professional. He's been a true professional about leaving AEW. Uh, and I try to follow in those footsteps in the sense of, that's why I've never done any public interview of why. He's I a gentleman. Him. He's a gentleman. Yeah, you have to be because the wrestling part is just a, a little bit of what we do, right? So Was all that stuff um, backstage in England and other places with CM Punk was that blown out of proportion on the on the internet? I mean, because my God, every site just oh my yeah, good. I mean, ideally, like uh, you know, him and Jack, whatever they got into a little argument. Yeah, I don't think it was anything. You know, I don't know the other part, which is what Tony had mentioned on TV. I wasn't yeah. like there for that, yeah. but ideally, like you know. There's a lot of people that people don't like at work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, I've worked at numerous places. I worked at, you know, uh, we always joke about the fact that I worked at Planet Hollywood when I was in Orlando. I worked there for seven, right. eight years. Uh, I disliked about 90% of those people. The, the, the difference is they never knew because I tried to be as professional as possible. And that's just the job, right? So, yeah. but things are going to happen and, you know, people get all worked up and so on and so forth. But, um, you know, it is a different time. I, I've always been the type that, hey, if there's going to be an issue, like, hey, we could talk about it like men and we could bring another person, you know, like when I spoke to Punk, I said, hey, I'm going to bring someone with me. We're going to go to his locker room. We're going to speak because I wanted to know from him, hey, this is what I heard. And I don't want to believe this. I'd rather believe what comes out of your mouth. And that's it. And anytime there's ever been an issue in AEW, the one thing that came out when I quit uh, and I resigned, whatever, the one thing that came out was he was the realest person in the locker room. And it's the truth. I went to every, I was honest because what I was told and I was taught this breaking in was there's only one place that we don't have to be a hundred percent honest. And that's out there in front of the people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ideally, Interesting. Uh, the rest of it, we should just be normal, you know, level-headed and be honest with each other, no matter what it is, just be honest. Uh, and if there's an issue, then you bring someone in else so that way there's always a witness to what's going on and you just talk it out and that's it. And I know it's not the most popular thing, but at the end of the day, you know, I've been punched in the face before for running my mouth when I was younger. Uh, and I'm not talking in wrestling, I'm just saying in general. So I know I, 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 I want to apologize to you for doing that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to get punched for no reason. So I'd rather just talk to someone face to face, let them know. And then we take it from there. So, but I didn't think it was a, you know, it wasn't a surprise to me that he was going to come back, especially with Survivor Series being in Chicago. And I mean, yeah. that's a layup. Why wouldn't you take him? You know what I mean? Yeah. Ideally. Yeah. And you give him a chance and see what happens. Yeah, it's a great gig. This guy behind me yeah. over here. Yeah. Retiring. 
I don't yeah, know I'm going to make sure I'm at that is. one. I, I, what's that? I said, I'm going to make sure I'm at that one. A lot <laughs> of fans are like, why is this in a tag team match? They, you know, they're, they're saying, and people are saying, some people have told me, well, Sting doesn't want to do a single match, which, okay, that's, that's fine. But, um, do you, are you in, are you, uh, permitted to say anything about why this is happening to me? I mean, I'll be honest. I honestly don't know. Uh, I okay. can't. So that. your opinion. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, I think it's, he started in AEW. Uh, he started with Darby. He ends with Darby. I think they have a great thing. I think him going out there and I think he's done really well in the spots that we've given him. Let's put it that way. Right. Or the oh, spots okay. he's comfortable with. Uh, and I think I can only imagine just from knowing the system at AEW, uh, there's not one person that walked up to Sting and said, you are doing this. I think it was, oh, no. hey, what would you like to do? What do you think is the best option for you to go out the way you'd like to go out? I think, um, you know, Tony has been very good about the way he handles a lot of the luminaries and legends in our company and stuff like that. And I think this is just another way to to make sure that, you know, if it's going to be his last hurrah, it's the exact way that he would like it. Okay. I mean, um, when you talk about the legends, I was thrilled to see RVD. Yeah. 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 Tony loves using RVD on TV. I mean, he can oh, yeah. still go. He still got it. Oh, man. Big time. Yes. Yes.